Hi, I'm Alex from Energy Sage, and I'm one of our senior researchers here to talk to you about taxes. Taxes can be an intimidating topic that feel confusing for most of us. So today, I'm going to explain what you need to know about the federal solar tax credit so you can feel confident you're doing it right when you file your taxes. If you installed solar panels this year, you're eligible for the solar tax credit no matter where you live. There's no income limit for the tax credit, so no matter what tax bracket you're in, you can claim it. The solar tax credit is also commonly referred to as the investment tax credit, or ITC. So if you hear people talking about the ITC, they're talking about the solar tax credit. The ITC is especially valuable to you as a homeowner because a tax credit is a dollar for dollar reduction of your income taxes. The solar tax credit allows you to claim 30% of the total cost of your solar panel installation as a credit on your federal taxes, which saves you thousands of dollars as you transition to renewable energy. Let's walk through an example of how much the ITC can save you. If it costs you $20,000 to install your solar energy system, you can claim a $6,000 credit and that's because $6,000 is 30% of $20,000. So if you owe $15,000 in your taxes this year, you can subtract that $6,000 from your tax bill, which means you'll only owe the IRS $9,000 this year, which is serious savings. You can also claim additional local and state rebates on top of the federal tax credit, which saves you even more money, but we'll get to that later. Now that we've walked through the basics of the ITC, let's talk about the IRS forms you need to fill out. The most important one is Form 5695, which is what you'll use to actually claim your system. And you'll also need to fill out Schedule 3 and Form 1040. Just like with any credit, make sure you hold on to your receipts and documentation from your installers so you can give them to your accountant or have them handy to upload to TurboTax or whichever tax software you're using to file. There's a few other points to understand about the ITC to make sure you're eligible. Most importantly, you need to own your solar energy system in order to qualify. That means you either paid for your solar panels upfront in cash, or you took out a solar loan to finance your purchase over time. You can think about it similarly to leasing a car. It's almost always better to buy a car than lease it because there's a much greater financial upside to ownership. But what if you don't have any tax liability this year? Can you still claim the credit? If you don't owe any taxes this year, which is common for many Americans, you're able to carry forward your solar credit to the next year when you do owe taxes. So for example, if you installed your system in 2023, but you don't owe any taxes that year, you can claim the ITC in 2024 or whatever is the next soonest year that you do owe taxes. The solar tax credit is set to expire in 2034, so you can roll it over as many times as you need to until it runs out a decade from now. You can also carry forward just a portion of the credit. Let's use an example. If your credit is worth $6,000, but you only owe $5,000 in 2023, you can claim $5,000 in 2023 and then roll over the remaining $1,000 in 2024 and you will get the $1,000 in 2024. Something else to remember is that you should still file for your credit in the year you install your system. So if you installed your solar panels in 2023, even if you know you won't owe taxes this year, you still need to file this year. Otherwise, you'll have to file an amended tax return during the year you're trying to claim it, which is just more work for you. That covers most of the important things you need to know about filing for the federal solar tax credit. We'll wrap up by pointing out that there are also a few things about your solar installation that don't qualify for the tax credit. Let's say you need to replace your roof or trim your trees during your solar installation. Those don't qualify for the ITC. So make sure you keep track of all the different expenses that go into your installation so you can properly file for your credit and start enjoying your savings. For more information about finances and how to file for your taxes, you can go to energysage.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Alex and we'll talk to you soon.